so in this exam the pattern is we have 20 aptitude questions and as well as the 10 verbal questions so the time limit for this is 30 minutes you have to complete your test in 30 minutes in this question to find out the percentage error in the calculation we have to know the actual number and the expected one so here a student multiplied a number let us say the number is x number by 3 by 5 instead of 5 by 3 actually we will have to multiply it by 5 by 3 so when we multiply the number by 5 by 3 we will get 5 by 3 x but here what he did he have multiplied with 3 by 5 so this is your number present number now you have to find the percentage error in this calculation between two numbers you have to find out so how you will find out actually this is our number but but due to some mistake you have done it multiplied by 3 by 5 okay 5 by 3 x minus 3 by 5 x so this will give you the error why you have to take the actual number what is it 5 by 3 x you are find out in the percentage so into 100 okay now you will get it here what you will get this will become into 5 and into 3 25 x minus 9 x by 15 by 5 by 3 x into 100 so here 3 ones and 5s again you will get 16 x by So here 16x by 5 into 5 that is 25x into 100. xx cancel this is 1s and 4s. 16 into 4 is 64. That is 64 percent is your answer. So that means 64 percentage error is there in the calculation. So your option is D. Two students appeared at an examination. One of them secured 9 marks more than the other. Okay, so let us consider one student got X marks and other student got more than 9 marks than the other. So X plus 9 and his marks was 56% of the sum of their marks. So the persons, this person's marks is 56% of the sum of their marks. So sum of their two members marks. So X plus X plus 9. So you will get like this that is 2x plus 9. Now here if you simplify you will get it like this. So this is 504 and if you take this there 900 minus 504 is equals to 112x minus 100x which is 12x and if you do this subtraction you will get 396 so if you perform x is equals to 396 by 12 you will get it as 33 so here the number that means the marks that is x is 33 which is 33 scored by one person and another person's marks is 33 plus 9 which is what is 33 plus 9? It is nothing but 42. Okay. So here one person's marks is 33 and another person's marks is 42. So what actually we have to find out what are the marks obtained by them. So one is 32 and another one is 42. So your option is B. 33 and 42 is the right answer. So in this question, in an election between two candidates, one got 50% of the total valid votes and 20% of the votes were invalid. If the total number of votes was 7500, so total votes is 7500. So these are total votes. But here, 20% of the votes were invalid. Okay, so 20% of votes were invalid. 
that is nothing but 80% of votes are valid okay now we are required about valid votes so what is 80% of this total votes you will get it as 6000 so here 6000 is the valid votes but here one got 55% of the total valid votes so one person got 55% of valid votes which is 55 by 100 into 6000 you will get 3300 okay so this is one person got 3300 votes but what is the question the number of valid votes that the other candidate got was actually the valid votes are 6000 and the one person got 3300 as well as his vote then other person valid votes will be 6000 minus 3300 is other person that is other candidate votes that he got that is 2700 so this is the number of valid votes that the other candidate got is 2700 so option a is the right answer so here a man gains 10 percent by selling a certain article for a certain price so let us consider our cost price initially is 100 rupees then what is our selling price which is the formula that is 100 plus profit percentage by 100 into cost price that is 100 plus 10 percent is 100 plus 10 by 100 into what is cost price 100 so our selling price will be 110 rupees but here what is the condition if he sells it at double the double the price okay then new selling price will be what here new selling price is double the price that is 2 into 110 which is 220 okay now here we have selling price and as well as cost price what is the profit percentage selling price minus cost price by cost price into percentage that is 100 so here you will get 120 by 100 into 100 which is 120 so this is 120 percentage this is your answer that is b 120 percentage in this question i bought a book for rupees 60 so my cost price is 60 i sold it to a friend for rupees 70 so my selling price is 70 so what is my profit here 70 minus 60 that is 10 rupees so 10 rupees is my profit but after a while i felt sorry that i sold it and bought it back for rupees 80 so actually his cost price is 60 he sold it for 70 and his profit is 10 rupees now he have 10 rupees okay now he bought it back for rupees 80 that means he buyed it for 80 rupees okay how much loss did he incur that means how much loss he had got that means actually his cost price is 60 now he bought it for 80 rupees okay for this 80 rupees he have profit of 10 rupees so if you cover this 10 rupees in this 60 60 rupees is cost price okay you keep it aside and you have 10 rupees as a profit you have removed from this here you spend this profit on buying this book again it back so again you have to pay more 10 rupees for him for your friend to get your ba book back so you have to pay this money extra but you don't have that that means this is your loss how many rupees 10 rupees is your loss how much loss did i inoku that means 10 rupees so rupees 10 is your answer so for this question let us consider a number x y if you take 26 like this x is 2 and y is 6 so you can write it as 10x plus y which you can write it as 2 into 10 plus 6 so i have written this x y in this form so this is my number i can see so the sum of the digits of two numbers is 8 so two digits these are two digits whose sum is 8 so x plus y is 8 okay this is one equation if the digits are 
reversed the number is decreased by 84 if the digits are reversed what happens it will become yx if it is reversed so yx is so if it is reversed the number is decreased by 54 so this number is decreased by 54 okay that is your reversed number so you can write this as 10y plus x i have explained you already this here and this can be as 10x plus y minus 54 if you take this this side 10y minus y is 9y and if you take this x this side 9x minus 54 if you cancel it with 6 table you will get y is equals to x minus 6 so with 9 table you can get it as y is equals to x minus 6 this is equation 2 if you substitute this in equation 1 you will get x plus x minus 6 is equals to 8 2x minus 6 is equals to 8, 2x is equals to 14, x is equals to, so here you will get x is equals to 7. So now what your y will be, so if x is 7, what your y will be 1, so 7 and 1, so your number is 71, okay, I think you got this, so x is 7 and your y is 1, so your answer is 71. So this is all about this question. So in this question, x is divisible by y. So what this means we have to find out. For example, if you say 6 is divisible by 2, that means that means 2 is a factor of 6. 6 is 3 into 2 or 6 is 1 into 6. So here 2 is a factor of 6. That, is, that means, that means you can say 2, so 6 is a multiple of 2, that is 6 is a multiple of 2, yes or no, yes. So whereas 2 is a factor of 6, so you can say 6 is a multiple of 2, that means you will get 6 in the 2 table, okay. So, what it means, what is 6 here? x. So, x is a multiple of y. Yes. So, you can write these statements. x is a multiple of y. So, here x is a multiple of y is your answer. And coming to the next one, if you observe this given question, you can write it as like this. 287 whole square plus 269 whole square minus 2 into 287 into 269 which is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab which is equals to a minus b whole square. So now uh, you can write it as 287 minus 269 whole square. So what answer you will get here? What is 287 minus 269? So what is 287 minus 269? You will get it as 18. So what is here? You also have square, whole square. And what is 18 square? That is nothing but 324. So here it is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab. So you are applying this formula for given question and you are simplifying it as this. So now you got this as the answer that is 18 square is 324. So your answer is D 324. In this question, 8 friends plan to go to hotel for dinner and to share the bill among them equally. So to share the bill amount equally. So they went for the trip. 8 members went for trip. Okay. If one of them have forgot to bring the valid, then what will be the extra amount contributed by each to pay the bill of rupees 1904? So actually 8 members went for a trip, but one person forgot his valid. Okay. If actually 8 members went and take the, took their valid, then how much amount uh, they will pay per each? Okay, 1904 by Eight. So you will get it as 238. So this much amount they will pay actually if everybody took their wallet. But one of them have forgot their wallet. So 1904 is paid by 7 members. So how much amount? 272. So now 
we have to calculate what will be the extra amount so when he forgot his wallet and actually they paid if he took wallet what is it extra amount that means if we subtract this two we will get the extra amount that is 272 minus 238 that is 34 rupees so as he forgot one person of them had forgot his wallet so every one of them has to pay 34 rupees extra okay your answer is 34 so for this question let us find out uh, using the options so let us consider our number is 339 when a number is divided by 13 the remainder is 11 if you divide this with 13 its remainder is 11 so now if you remove from this 11 then the number is divisible by 13 according to this statement so how much here you will get 328 328 divided by 13 yes no you will get some 25.23 like that so it is not divisible so don't go with this option if you go with 349 and the remainder is 11 subtract from here 3 3 8 and if it is divisible by 13 yes it is divisible so 338 by 13 is 26 okay so let's go into the next statement. When the same number is divided by 17, the remainder is 9. So if you subtract 7, sorry, 9 from this number, 3, 4. Then this is divided by 17. You will get what? So here you will get 20. So this 349 is a number which is divided by 13. You will get remainder 11. It is divided by 17. You will get remainder 9. So 349 is a number. So in this question, how many six digit telephone numbers can be formed if each number starts with 35 and no digit appears more than once? That means the phone number is six digits. Let us take six digits and starts with 35. Okay, now remaining left is four digits place. Okay, and we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are all 10 numbers. In that already we have filled with 2. So remaining we have 8 numbers. Using these 8 numbers we have to fill in these 4 places. So what is the formula for that? In how many ways we, how many ways we can fill? That is 8 places with sorry 8 numbers within the 4 places we have to fill. So, 8P4 is your answer. So, what is 8P4? Let me find out. So, here 8P4 is nothing but 1680. So, this is your answer. Here, product of 3 consecutive prime numbers is 385. What is the sum of those 3 numbers? So, let us find out what are the factors of 385. So, if you do the LCM, what you will get? So, means again so these are the so these are the factors of this 385 so here what are prime numbers 5 is prime 7 is prime 11 is prime and these are consecutive consecutive prime numbers also because 5 7 11 13 17 so like this 2 3 so here 5 7 11 are consecutive prime numbers so Yes, this is satisfied. Product of 3 consecutive prime numbers is 385. So, what are those prime numbers? 5, 7, 11. Yes, so its product is 385. What is the sum of those 3 numbers? So, what is the sum of these 3 numbers? 11 plus 12 is 23. So, your answer is 823. So, in this question, how many numbers are divisible by 4 between 1 and 100? So, if you take from 1... So, the first number which is divided, divisible by 4 is 4. So, that means 4 into 1 is equals to 4. So, this is divisible by 4. Now, if you take uh, 4 20s, so you got 80. Okay. So, it is up to 100. And if you take 
फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव इट इज हंड्रेड ओके नाउ हियर बिटवीन वन एंड हंड्रेड हाउ मेनी नंबर्स आर डिविजल बाई फोर सो इफ यू टेक हियर हाउ मेनी नंबर्स वी हैव फ्रॉम वन वी हैव द फर्स्ट नंबर एज फोर विच इज डिविजल बाई फोर एंड अप टू हंड्रेड सो अप टू हंड्रेड इफ यू टेक इफ यू कंसिडर दिस यू विल गेट वन नॉट फोर सो अप टू ओनली वी अप टू हंड्रेड ओनली वी हैव टू कंसिडर here for the given question so how many numbers are divisible by 4 from 1 to 100 if you take this is one number second number third number fourth number up to 100 you have 25 numbers like this which are divisible by 4 okay so our answer will be 25 here you can observe the multiples of 4 are 25 the multiples of Four or twenty-five in the range of one to hundred. There are twenty-five, twenty-five numbers which are divisible by four between the range of one to hundred. So our answer is twenty-five. You can observe four one ja four, four two ja eight, four three ja twelve, and so on. Four twenty-five ja hundred. So if you take all these or between one to hundred, one to hundred which are divisible by Four. So our answer is twenty-five. Now the next question: the average of first fifty natural numbers is. So to find out the average, the sum of first fifty natural numbers by total number of fifty natural numbers. That is, what is sum of n natural numbers? That is, n o n into n plus one by two by n okay so if you take 50 so n value is 50 into 50 plus 1 by 2 by 50 this here we will get 50 so this 50 into 51 by 2 by 50 okay this is cancel and 51 by 2 is nothing but 25.5 so your answer is Twenty five point five is the average of first fifty natural numbers. So this is what I have showed the average of first fifty natural numbers. N into n plus one by two is the sum of first fifty natural numbers by fifty natural numbers. That is n I have given using the formula. So fifty into fifty one by two by fifty is fifty one by two. It is equals to twenty five point five. So this is your answer. So this question: How many different words can be formed using the letters of the word amplitude? If you are familiar with my channel, you can already observe this question in my YouTube shorts. I have already explained this, but let me explain it also once again. So if you have amplitude, so here the number of ways a word can be arranged. is in factorial when it has all the letters as unique whenever you have the n letters word with some different repeated character letters you can take it as by fact divided by number of times factorial so now here you can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 factorial by how many times is anything that is appeared repeated no so nothing is repeated so here your answer is 9 factorial okay the number of words different words can be formed by a unique word that means unique word is nothing what i mean means no letter should be repeated in that okay so then your answer will be n factorial where n is the number of letters in a given word so here your answer is 9 factorial because no word is repeated in this okay so your answer is 9 factorial so in this question the sum of two consecutive numbers is 87 which is the larger number so what do you mean what is consecutive numbers if you take x comma x plus 1 side by side that are called as consecutive adjacent numbers they are called as consecutive numbers so if you take 2 and 
if this is x then definitely this will be x plus 1 so i am taking it as x and x plus 1 as the two consecutive numbers so the sum of the two consecutive numbers is 87 that means if i consider it as x then x plus x plus 1 is 87 that means x plus and x plus 1 sum is 87 so 2x plus 1 is 87 and 2x is 86 now x is 40 so x is here 43 okay so now what will be x plus 1 x plus 1 will be 43 plus 1 that is 44 so now your two consecutive numbers are 43 and 44 are your two consecutive numbers whose sum is 87 so which is the larger number larger number is 44 so your answer is option c that is 44 so in this question train is running at a speed of 126 km per hour but here they have given in seconds so we have to convert this 126 km per hour into meters per second so you will get on multiplying 5 by 18 to that you will get 35 meters per second as the speed so what is the length of the train if it crosses a tree in 5 seconds so length of train will be so length of train will be the distance traveled by the train while crossing the tree in 5 seconds so that is the length of the train so we will find what is the distance traveled by train in 5 seconds that is crossing the tree so distance is time into speed okay so what you will get here so here it is 175 meters meters is the distance traveled by the train so during that is train while the train is moving it crosses the tree in 5 seconds so while crossing a tree in 5 seconds so that is the distance traveled by the train if here is a tree and a train is crossing the tree in 5 seconds means it is moving from the tree that means that is the length of the train you can understand okay so here the distance is 175 meters so that is the length of the tree which is 175 meters so here let me find out the distance first so here let us find out the distance so distance is speed into time so here speed is 50 and time is 1 hour place so this is initially travel distance which is tra travel by train okay here this is the distance travel by taxi which is for half hour into speed is 32 so you will get the distance so here distance is 66 kilometers and the total time is 1 hour plus 30 minutes that is 1.5 hours so what is average speed distance by time what is distance 66 kilometers what is time 1.5 hours so you will get it as 44 kilometer per hour so this is the average speed so your answer is 44 kilometer per hour just added distance and total time and speed is equals to distance by time that is average speed therefore therefore you will get the answer so here the question is you have deposited rupees 110 in a bank so here your principal amount is 110 rupees and your simple interest of 12 percent per year so rate of interest will be 12 percent okay and how much money will you have in the bank after the two years so after two years how much money you will have principal amount plus as well as your interest that is simple interest so this is the amount that you will have in the bank after two years so we have to find out the simple interest here simple interest formula is ptr by 100 so what is p 110 and what is t that is time that is two years and rate of interest is 12 percent by 100 if you calculate this what you will get here 100 into 2 into 12 sorry this is 110 by 100 
so you got twenty six point four. Okay, simple interest is twenty six point four, and as well as the principal amount. Principal amount is one ten, and simple interest is twenty six point four. So what is this total amount? So one thirty six point four. So this is the money you will have in the bank after two years. So option B is the correct answer. So now next one, here find the cost of fencing around a circular field of diameter twenty eight meters at the rate of rupees one point five a meter. So one meter cost is rupees one point five, and the diameter of the circle is twenty eight meters. So the therefore radius will be fourteen meters. So radius radius is Fourteen meters, and find the cost of fencing around a circular field. So fencing means this boundary. You will do the fencing to this boundary. So what is the perimeter of the circle? So perimeter of circle is two pi r. So you have to find out the cost of the fencing around this circle. Okay. So here we will find out what is the fencing okay so actually what is the fencing then how many meters of the fencing is required and then we will find out the cost of the fencing so initially we have to find out the how many meters are required for fencing okay here 2 pi r is the formula for finding the boundary that is fencing how many meters is required for fencing 2 into pi is nothing but 22 by 7 and what is r that is 14 meters So what you will get here, eighty-eight. Eighty-eight meters is the is the required required for fencing. This is the required uh, thing for the fencing. So if you want to do the fencing, eighty-eight meters is required. So for eighty-eight meters, how much cost it will happen? Let us find. So for one meter, it is one point five rupees. Then for eighty-eight meters, then how much it will be? Eighty-eight into one point five. So then how much you will get it? Eighty-eight into one point five. That is one thirty-two rupees. Okay. So this is the cost for fencing around the circular field of diameter twenty-eight. So for this we require one thirty-two rupees for fencing. So your answer is B here.